All right, how you guys doing? I wanted to show off this uh, Torque engine. This is the Torque X. Uh, I'm using the trial version. I plan to buy the full version, but I just want to show you uh, just a little bit how easy it is to design levels with it. It's really cool. So let's go ahead and get started then. I'm going to drop in the, this tile set here. I'm going to set it to like, uh, I don't know, 20 by 12 or something. This 64 by 64. It's the size of the tiles, my sky tiles. Set the size there. I'm going to drag this where it fits my whole wide screen here. Then that's good. Let's go ahead and edit it. Pow! I'm going to choose from my material, my sky, which is just a plain color. Fill that in. Edit. I'm going to go to. Uh, oops, I got to get out of this by selecting that triangle up there. That scene object, I'm going to turn this to like layer 30. Then I'm going to go out, click out here if I'm not selecting anything. Go to my layer drop down menu, layer management. And I'm going to lock layer 30. Create another tile set. Let's make this uh, 10 by 1. And let's see here. Actually, I'll make it like 64 by 64, or 128 by 64. That's my ground tile sizes. And uh, I can make this 12 just where it goes outside a little bit. Drag this down here. This will be my ground. Edit. Let's see here. I'm going to pick my ground brush. Just gonna bam, that's my ground. Got that good go. I'm gonna leave that on level uh, or layer zero. And then I am going to create my scrollers. I've already did it. You just go up here to create your scroller and just select the image it's really easy. Then I gotta drag and drop them in here. This is gonna be the top clouds, like so. And this is going to be the bottom cloud, like so. Then I'm going to go to edit, scroll, let's see here. Um, first I'm going to change the layer. I'll change this to like layer 29. And also this one I'll change layer 28, just where I can uh, easily go between them and turn one off and the other one and select them. Let's see here, let's go with... Uh, scripting here. Nope, that's not what I wanted to do. I meant I wanted to go to scroller. So the scroller drop down and I'm going to repeat. Uh, no, let's see. I'm going to do scroll speed X. We'll do this one by I'm going to do this one like by 60. And I'm going to do this one by 40. I think that's going to be kind of cool looking. Okay, cool, got my scrollers going on. Go back to create here. I drag and drop my house in here. Go to edit. I'm going to change its layer to like layer 6 or so. Actually, I don't need layer 6, I'm just going to put it to like layer 3. Hold down shift, change its size. Pop it in the background there. It's going to be something like so. A little bit higher. That's good. Turn off collision for this one. I'm going to lock the two cloud layers where I can select my house. And I think it was layer 3. So I'm going to lock it to... Bam, there we go. Let's go back to create, create a new tile set, drop that bad boy in there. Let's go 64 by 64. And I'm going to go with like, actually I'll just do it like that for right now. 10 by 10 doesn't matter. Then I can change maybe uh, the height down to about 7 or so. Shut up. There we go. And uh, I'll make a 
it 7x7, seven seven. what the heck. Oops, come on. It's like lagging a little bit. Okay. Whatever, it's not still really high. But I'll change it. Right, so let's see. I'm going to go ahead and edit this now. Start painting with my brushes. I'm going to do a solid green first. I'm thinking that it's going to be like, uh, like that. Then I'm going to do this top one here. So then I'm going to do this edge here. Oops, it's flipped horizontal. Got to fix that. Hey, let's try this. There we go. Then I'm going to do my edge brush. Let's see our top edge. Pop that one there. Pop that one. Actually, I need to erase that first. Pop that one in there. I'm going to erase these three. I'm going to flip this horizontally. This is really cool that we only need one, uh, one edge brush there, or one edge uh, material, and then uh, so you know tile whatever, and one you know. That way I can just flip it so I don't have to draw two. So I'm thinking that will be the uh, thing that she's going to jump over. It'll have spikes on it. Okay. And now I can start dropping my pieces in here. And this is where you add tile and pieces together to add more of an organic feel. So I'm going to drop that in there. I'm going to go to edit. I'm going to turn off the collision. Now I'm just going to hold down uh, Control and hit CV and copy and paste that sprite into here to have copies of the sprite. And paste another one. Maybe put this one up here. Like so. Drag a copy of this one. Make sure to turn off the collision. I'm gonna just put it like right here somewhere or maybe over here on this one actually. Let's see here, create a copy of my tree, turn off the collision. I'm gonna put it over here on the edge. Now naturally this, this level's gonna be like, you know, huge or long long level where you run along, so um, it would continue on. I'm just doing this one frame. Right, I'm gonna drag and drop my grass in here. This is a piece, it's not a tile. And I can turn off the collision. And I can just kind of drop it in there. Like that, then I can copy and paste it. Pull it along like so. Then I'm gonna do this grass up here. I'm running out of time. Turn off the collision. Anyway, so this is how you do it. Um, you know, if you like this video, you'd like to see more, please uh, comment, rate. Oh man, it's like lagging because of the scrollers, I think, and because I'm like recording and everything. Anyway, so. I might have time to add some uh, scene object here. And this one will be the ground mesh. I should probably just like turn off the scrollers for now. But uh, they look cool. Bam, make sure that I uh, got collision component and I don't, so I gotta create one. Now it's got a collision component. So now there's something to fall on, something to run on. All right, so there you go. Look how fast that was. That's a little demonstration of the engine. It's awesome. Uh, there, there you go.